Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, hello and welcome. My name is Robin and I'm so happy to have you here. And if you're already subscribed, welcome back. Happy New Year. It is 2023 and I am so excited to share everything with you style and fashion wise. So I thought that it would be a good idea to start with the basics and kick off the new year with a series all about style and finding your unique style and I'm calling it Profic Style 101. So you may be asking yourself, what is Profic Style? Profic Style is your unique style at its perfect state. That's your unique style when you are your most confident, you are most comfortable, you feel good, you look good, and others have recognized your unique style as your own. In essence, it's perfect. So I'm going to kick off the new year sharing a lot of information with you. So please excuse me if I'm looking at my iPad a lot throughout these next few videos. Excuse me. I have a lot of information to share and I don't want to miss anything. I've written a whole script for all of these videos. So I want to make sure that I'm hitting all the notes for you. So in today's video, we're going to kick off the series talking about body shapes. And I think it's really important to start with body shapes because I feel like when you know your body shape and you own it, it makes everything relatively easier. I mean, it makes your shopping easier. It makes your selection of garments a little bit easier. So I think that's a great place to start. Before I get in the video, I am going to, before I jump into the video, I'm going to share a link to a body shape calculator in the description box for you to um, determine what your body shape is. It's also relatively easy, I think, to just look in the mirror and determine your body shape. But just in case you are unable to do that or you just want a little scientific um, evidence behind it, I'm going to leave that um, calculator link in the description box below. But if you do want to use it, I recommend you either getting naked or what I did was I just put on some really body hugging leggings as well as a really fitted crop top and a sewing type tech tape measure. So something that's really easy to manipulate around your shoulders and all of those things. So make sure you have those things handy or you can just look in the mirror and just kind of sort of look at the shape of your body. And if you're naked or if you have on those body hugging garments, you should kind of sort of have an idea of what your body shape is. So let's jump into it. The reason why I think it's important to start with body shapes is because one, different silhouettes of clothing and different fabrics look and drape differently on different body shapes. Two, most women want to wear garments that accentuate their curves or the most flattering part or parts of their body. And three, when you dress to complement your, your shape, you just look better. So let's get into the body shapes. So there are five overarching or five main body shapes. There are definitely more than five, but overall there are five main different body shapes. Those are rectangle, inverted triangle, pear, circle or apple, and hourglass. And we're gonna start with the rectangle. So the rectangle body type is the most straightforward type. This body type is often described as an athletic build as women who identify with it have measurements of similar widths. Rectangular bodies are composed of a similar shoulder, bust, and hip width. If shorter women have a rectangle body type, it can result in them looking shorter and heavier than they actually are. And that's why it's really important to know what your body shape is so you can dress in a way that doesn't make you look heavier than you actually are or add pounds where you don't want them to go. To determine if you are a rectangle, measure your shoulders, bust, and hip width. If your measurements are similar for every area, you are more than likely rectangular. Find clothes that give your body more of an hourglass figure if you're looking to combat that boxy shape or break up your outfits with layers and different clothing proportions. Next up, we have inverted triangle. 
So the inverted triangle body shape is defined by broad shoulders or a broad bust line that narrows, narrows down through the hips. In other words, your shoulders or bust are the strongest parts of your shape. They are widen, wider than your waist and your waist is wider than your hips. So this is another athletic body shape as, um, as I stated. You measure for this body type by taking the full width of your shoulders, bust, and hips. And if your bust and hips are around the same width, but your waist is significantly smaller in number, you have an inverted, inverted triangle body shape. When choosing clothes for this body type, highlight your lower half and elongate your legs with nude shoes. So of course, nude shoes aren't the same for all of us. If you are a woman of color, of course those beige, patent leather nude shoes that you see everywhere that every uh, shoe manufacturer or designer sells, that's not a nude for us. So you want to make sure that you are choosing the correct nude shade for your body, not your body, your skin tone. So next up we have pear. And like the pear is shaped, a pear body type is slender on top and wider in the hips and legs. This can be determined with the use of a full length mirror or with measurements like I stated before. And if your shoulders and bust measurements are significantly smaller than the width of your hips, you are probably a pear shaped body type. Dress up your shape by highlighting your shoulders, arms, and back and creating a waist for more contour. Next up we have the circle or apple shape. The apple body shape is identified for its rounder shape that resembles the look of the fruit of course. Significant signs of an apple-shaped body include a more circular outline with no definition in the waist and similar measurements. To determine if you are apple-shaped, measure your shoulders, bust, and hip widths. If your measurements are very similar or even identical, you may have an apple or circle body type. When dressing your apple shape, opt for structured clothing that adds sharp lines to your overall appearance as this often slims the midsection of your body. Last but not least, we have the hourglass body shape, and this is the classic bomb shell shape. This body type is named for the contoured shape of your waist compared to your bust and hips. To determine if you have an hourglass shape, study your body in the full length mirror, or you can take your measurements. But if your curves resemble that of a Coke bottle, you most likely have an hourglass figure. You can also determine this shape by measuring your shoulders, bust, and hips. And like the rectangle shape, your body measurements will all be around the same width, but the hourglass figure is significant because of the defined waist contour. If your waist is significantly indented, this is another indication that you have an hourglass body shape. Dress for your body by highlighting your unique waist and be sure to choose clothes that showcase your figure instead of covering up. So in the comment section, I want you to share your body shape. I am an hourglass body shape and I think um, I even went to a website a few years ago and based on my me measurements, I was actually a bottom hourglass, meaning that my hips were, um, I can't remember the number, but a few inches wider than my bust. Um, but what I really want to hone in on is you loving your body. Remember I said you need to know your body shape and own it? I really mean that. We all have unique body shapes. We all have unique personalities. We all have unique dress styles. And that encompasses us as a person. And you don't want to be like anybody else. You want to be unique because indeed you actually are unique. There are parts of every different body shape that I'm sure another woman covets or wish that they had. I have friends that are rectangular shaped and inverted triangle shaped, but they have long legs, legs for days. They don't have tummy issues. Um, they can wear short shorts. They can wear short dresses. All of these things, if you are really busty, I mean, can you just imagine how envious a woman with no bust or smaller uh smaller bust wishes they had bigger boobs like you did so instead of coveting or wishing you had the body shape of somebody else own your body shape and just kill it rock whatever you want to wear but make sure that 
what you wear complements your shape because you will, I promise you, you will look so much better if you dress for your body shape. If you start to play around with different fabrics that lay on your curves a little different or highlights the particular flattering parts of your body, it's just that important to do it because you will feel better and you'll definitely look better. Well, you may not feel better, but you'll definitely look better. So if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you. I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2023. And you can help me get there by liking, subscribing, and sharing my videos with your family and friends. And be on the lookout for video two or part two of the Pro Fix Style 101 series. And I think I'm going to be talking about dress style. So until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.